Hey guys, how have you been? I have read some books that I really would like to talk to you guys about. So, let's let's get into it. Oshinoko by Aga Kasaka and Mengo Yokoyari follows the idol Ai Hoshino and her twins Aqua and Ruby. The story brings light into the dark parts of being in the entertainment industry, such as acting, singing, etc. There are commentaries on parasocial relationships between the fan and the star in this story. But also, there's a hint of supernatural with the reincarnation trope. This manga has been adapted into an anime, which was first aired on April 12, 2023 in Japan. And actually, this intro song, Idol by Josobi, broke many records. And honestly, it's one of my favorite songs of the year. I love it. Like every single day I've listened to that song since it came out. I'm going to link down below the song if you guys want to check it out if you haven't. But I, I love that song. I am not going to lie, I have seen stuff for the new chapters that have come out. Ruby and Aqua, they remember their past lives, so it's difficult not to bring the feelings and sentiments that they had back then. Like I want to see how they're going to resolve that. But overall, of these two volumes, I enjoy them. I enjoy the story, I enjoy the art, I enjoy the criticism. Going any further, I want to talk about what parasocial relationships are because I didn't know about this until I do a, did a little bit of research. Parasocial relationships are non-reciprocal social-emotional connections with media figures such as celebrities or influencers. The term was first coined back in the 50s by sociologist Donald Horton and his psychiatrist author Richard Wall. For some people, parasocial relationships may be a source of inspiration and motivation. The media figure may be a positive influence and encourage others to develop their talents and skills. However, parasocial relationships should not replace real-life social relationships and interactions. So, the last book that I want to talk about with you guys is Jello Face by R.F. Kuang. And at this point, R.F. Kuang is one of my author by authors. So in this book, we follow Jun Song Hayward, who after witnessing the death of author, former classmate, and in parentheses, friend, Athena Liu steals the former's manuscript and passes it as her own. My thoughts about this book is that I haven't hate, hated a character since the days that I read um, Dear John by Nicholas Spark and I hated the love interest I think her name is Savannah and then came June and I like I think June goes as one of my most hated 
hater, hated um, characters. She doesn't have redeeming qualities or introspect. She paints herself as a victim even when she knows she is wrong. Even though I hated the main character, I like this book. I was rooting to see her downfall and it felt different from other books that I have read before because even though we're follow following Yoon, you want to see her fall because she's doing things wrong. And yes, we, we also have um, like the intricates of book publishing and the power of social media that it has on it, but still, she is not a good person. So thank you for watching this video, and if you like it, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,